Okay, let's see what project Donna is going to be working on. This Project. I've got several of them ongoing right now. This one's going to need to dry for maybe a couple of days to really get the wood dry, but it's upside down. And what it is is a bookcase that was originally my mother's, and she gave it to me when I was a newlywed. And I promptly painted it, <laughs> which horrified her. But um, anyway, it's painted red right now. It's been sitting outside on our front porch. Well, I'm taking it off the front porch. I'm repainting it a similar red because I use a lots of red in my house. That's the back side. Um, and what it's going to do, it's going to hold uh, a bunch of my cookbooks that I have sitting on counters right now because I want to free up my counter space. So that's my project. Okay, I've started painting. The back of the little bookcase had been sitting out on my front porch, so you can tell it's just really warped. And I just want to put a coat of paint on it just to protect it a little bit. It's going to be inside, but I just didn't like looking at that raw, warped wood. So, yeah, it's going to be warped still, but the paint will protect it a little bit. I'm using a red. It's a Valspar red. And um, I'll uh, give you the... Um, paint name in a little bit. Uh, I'll probably put it in the description or on top of the screen. But anyway, we got it at, at uh, Lowe's. And so, painted the base, the bottom of it. It didn't have any paint on it. And so, I decided to need a little, just a little extra protection to hold the piece together. I think the paint's going to be more of a glue to hold the piece together. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm on the painting project of the little red bookcase. And it's originally, this is the original paint. Then I'm putting some more red over it. It's a slightly different color. So you would think it wouldn't take as many coats, but this is after two coats. So it's kind of streaky. So it looks like it's going to take three coats to cover this. And I'm using a Valspar paint on it right now. So, it's pretty nippy out here. I'm going to take the paint in, let it warm up a little bit. And maybe after lunch this afternoon, if it's warm enough, I'm going to paint again. If not, I might wait uh, for a warmer day to paint out here. Okay, the little red bookcase has been painted. This is where it's going to live. And these are the things that are going to be put in it. So I'll decorate it tomorrow after the paint's dried real good overnight. And then I'll show red. it to you. Well, everybody, here's the little red bookcase all decked out. And I had most of my cookbooks I've been able to just put in here. You know, I have collected so many cookbooks and some of them really not expensive. But, you know, just a lots of cookbooks over the years, and I've donated some, given some away to family, and so I've kind of pared down my cookbooks to what I consider essentials. There's food preservations and jellies and canning. There's some barbecue cookbooks and Southwest and Mexican cookbooks and Cajun recipes, and so those are the ones that I've kept and then casseroles and things like that. An old cookbook from my mother-in-law that went through a fire is in there. There's just a bunch of little cookbooks. And then I have put some of my whisk and my rolling pins and then my pastry cutters and you know, just some little knickknacks on it. But it's in the little corner. It's by a nice sunny window. And so I think it's going to be happy here. The paint job is, yeah, it's okay, but this thing has been painted probably four or five times over the last 20 years. <laughs> Longer than that. 
50 years. We've been married 50 years, 51 years now. So it's had lots of different coats of paint. So it's, it's pretty good shape considering it's been out on a porch and been hauled all over the country in our moves. So the little red bookcase is going to enjoy its retirement here at the JRC. Thank y'all. You enjoy the day. Hope it's a blessed one for you. If you like this little video, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, comments. I would love to have comments. Any ideas for future videos would be appreciated. Um, hit that little bell and so you'll be reminded and notified when we put new uh, videos up. Oh, there's someone who's photobombing us. That's Ollie.